We can actually only do this once. Hey guys, I've got the tea footing here. Just going to unbox it. So actually really grateful they've got these um, foam things in the new T14, T14 ice boxing because in the old one we used to have these things and a few of them got damaged on the way. These are actually much better. Documentation and the uh, laptop. Nice. There's a piece of foam and the charger. So that's a typical USB-C 65 volts charger. I'll just put it back, we've got a few. Okay, there we go, very nice. Okay, so rubberized feel much more rubberized than the T14S. That's the reason we're here to see. It looks just like a T490, really. So the base cover, a few screws, holds it. It's quite easy to remove the cover. We've got the SIMS card at the back, and that's the memory card. It's not a full size, oh no, no Thunderbolt because it's AMD model. You've got uh, HDMI 2 instead of um, HDMI 1.4 on the Intel model. The weight feels um, substantial, I would probably suggest. Okay, so the same build as the T490. Quite sturdy, rubberized feel. I think we've got to plug it in. New feature wise, three different keys F9, F10, F11, AX Wi Fi, and um, the Ryzen processor. I don't think so far the fan has started working yet. Series. Wow. Not used to this quietness from a ThinkPad T series. Let's check what webcam cover it. Yeah, it, it works. It's quite firm. Cool. The Ryzen 7, as you can see, 8 cores, 16 threads. Wow. 16 on board plus 16 stake. We ordered a second stake of 3200, 32, and see how they perform any difference. Decided to get a 256, got other M2. This is a home edition. If you need a pro, then that's what you get. I don't think I've heard the fan spinning up so far. It's eerie. We have the AMD version of the T14 here. And out of the box, the Cinebench score is about 10% higher than the T14S. We'll quickly check the TDP here. So as you can see, if we put it into lower performance and start the benchmark, we set this and um, that's fine. So what we want to keep an eye on is really this line. If we put it into high performance now, when we're in Cinebench, and see how this changes. So it goes to 25 watts for about um, maybe 10 seconds. So quite a bit longer than the T14S, it seems. Um, it does seem to vary this duration with 25 watts. Caps at around 23 watts at a sustainable rate. Whereas um, the T14S we've previously looked at, that model is capped at around 19 watts on the maximum performance sustained workload. The lid feels quite sturdy. Still the same, slightly hollow point there. Some hollowness there. Okay, keyboard. So the AMD version of the T14 and T14S are both here. A slight gap difference. The T14 is a little bit taller at the front. Both have the new F9 to F11 key. As you can see, the T14 model, the bezel starts a little bit higher. Also, ends a little bit higher. To be honest, the size difference is not that dramatic. There's a very subtle difference in the feel of the key. Personally, this one, I feel this is a little bit more predictable. The keypad can be replaced easily, whereas on this one, you have to disassemble pretty much completely to get to the keyboard. The, on the inside, there's some difference in terms of the feel. The T14, like the outside casing, feels a bit more rubberized. And the T14S feels more metallic. It seems to get um, a little bit cooler in, for instance, in the cooler weather. In fact, the T14, probably in the winter, it doesn't get as cold. The T14 laptop is similar to the T14S in many ways. There are some obvious benefits, for instance, a better upfront pricing, and that one of the RAM slot is user accessible, which potentially lets you upgrade the RAM if you wanted a more budget option at the beginning. Some of the same constraints apply, for instance, um, there's a no Adobe Vision screen at the moment, and uh, there's no Thunderbolt just in case you have some specific um, 
workload you had in mind. What we look forward to is uh, having a play with the different RAM settings when we have time and to see if that has any impact on the performance of the laptop. What we'll also hope to do is um, look at the thermal performance of the laptop. When we've um, looked at the T14S, we've noticed um, this specific bit next to the fan was quite hot. We'll see if the T14 model has similar heat spot on the chassis and it's too early to say if it does better or if it's similar. But from what we've seen, there's definitely some small performance difference between the T14 and the T14S. The T14 seems to be faster at the moment. Anyway, this is just a quick hands-on. We hope this has been helpful. Um, any question, anything you want to watch in the more detailed walkthrough, let us know in the comments. Thank you and um, we'd be really grateful if you can give us a subscribe. Take care.